my partners and I shared a situation where we didn't know exactly what we wanted to do. We had a variety of interests as opposed to like these people in college who knew exactly what they wanted to do. And also, I think we were a little bit late bloomers. I mean, we didn't, I didn't know how to draw, I didn't know how to paint. I wasn't identified as having creative, artistic, special talent. And I just pursued a liberal arts education, and, and I was just interested in a lot of different things. I didn't get on any one track. It's kind of like the old days when you could be a, a renaissance person, you know. But today, there's all this pressure to pick something. And of course, there's pressure to make money. I don't know where the pressure comes from, but you just feel it when you're in college, right? It's just like, oh my god, I'm going to get out of school. And then at a certain point, I even had this moment when I was like, I've got to make some money. And it was this horrible time because I started thinking of things that just weren't right for me at all, but were just thinking logically. And then I remember, this is really, I swear to God, I was watching on, on PBS Bill Moore's interview, uh, <clears throat> Joseph Campbell. And uh, he was the, at the time, you know, a, the world-renowned myth expert. And, you know, I can't remember the exact question Bill Moyers asked Joseph Campbell, but my memory of it was something like, so what are these myths telling us? You know, what are they all saying? Like, distill it all down. That's kind of the gist of the question. And Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss. That's what they're all saying. I hadn't been hearing that message. I didn't hear that in school. I went to a prep school here in New York, and I remember once telling one of my teachers, one of my advisors, that I was going to play drums at this um, gig of some kind. And he's like, oh, nice use of your education. And it was really uh, discouraging, because he didn't see drumming as valid in any way. I found a love of learning in college. And to the extent that I was just following my love of learning, I really learned and I had a great experience. Whenever I started thinking, all right, I better do something to get a good job, I got off my path. And this is the paradox we're all faced with, because you really do have to pay rent when you get out of school. And it really is hard if you want to go to a big city. But let me just tell you, to get off the path is to die. And so I wish I had the wisdom that I have now to know then that it's not even an option. If you, if you get off of your bliss path, you're dead. You're just growing old. You're just going through the motions. The day I became a waiter and started becoming a you know, performance artist and working with my partners to develop a, a, an idea for our own, the day I started doing that was the day my current life began. You know, sometimes people ask what the show's about, and the show's not really about anything, but it came out of our finding our passion. You said you had a lot of fear and just scared of, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to get, you know, when you were just starting? How did you get through that? Because I think that's just so much. I don't know. I, I guess I just had enough to hold on. Maybe enough encouragement, enough faith in the ideas, enough excitement. Just barely enough. Just barely made it. But I also had to peel away the, 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 the noise, you know, um, and get a little bit of clarity. I think you've got to take a moment, some, everyone does, where they say, wait a minute, who am I living this life for? I can only offer that you got to follow your bliss and take the chance. And I recommend starting below the bottom rung. I mean, we didn't start at the bottom. We started down in a manhole. We went to the, we went to the, open mic night at the work in progress place where the only people in the audience were the other people who were going to perform. <laughs> you know, and you go through these incredible difficult times, but there's a basic sense of happiness the moment you're on your path. Imagine doing, catching stuff in your mouth, getting yourself blue, drumming a little bit, and, and you're getting your, your rent paid. Imagine. So that was an, a great day, but it doesn't make you happier past that first five minutes. It's the doing the work you love. I mean, see what I mean? Like, oh, we, we got nominated for an award of some kind. That was fun for 10 minutes or maybe 10 days. Got a gold record somewhere gathering dust. What the? 
that doesn't do anything. After a couple of weeks, it's gone, and it, you don't care. And when it's over, it's over. It's, it's what you're spending all day doing. And, and I think achievement is way overrated. I really do. It's not a source of happiness. So how would you define success then? It, I'm saying I was successful the day I started doing this, period. I found a love of learning in college. And to the extent that I was just following my love of learning, I really learned and I had a great experience. Whenever I started thinking, all right, I better do something to get a good job, I got off my path. And this is the paradox we're all faced with because you really do have to pay rent when you get out of school. And it really is hard if you want to go to a big city. But let me just tell you, to get off the path is to die. And so I wish I had the wisdom that I have now to know then that it's not even an option. If you, if you get off of your bliss path, you're dead. You're just growing old. You're just going through the motions. The day I became a waiter and started becoming a you know, performance artist and working with my partners to develop a, a, an idea for our own, the day I started doing that was the day my current life began. You know, and you go through these incredible difficult times, but there's a basic sense of happiness the moment you're on your path. Imagine doing, catching stuff in your mouth, getting yourself blue, drumming a little bit, and, and you're getting your, your rent paid. Imagine. So that was a, a great day, but it doesn't make you happier past that first five minutes. It's the doing the work you loved. I mean, you see what I mean? Like, oh, we, we got nominated for an award of some kind. That was fun for 10 minutes or maybe 10 days. Got a gold record somewhere gathering dust. <laughs> what the? That doesn't do anything. After a couple of weeks, it's gone. And it, you don't care. And when it's over, it's over. It's, it's what you're spending all day doing. And, and I think achievement is way overrated. I really do. It's not a source of happiness. So how would you define success then? It, I'm saying I was successful the day I started doing this, period.